You know, I couldn't imagine doing a journey like this without my family. I'm so grateful to have Taco Tuesday with my family. I want to go up here. So, this is my drinking bird that I got from the homeschool conference in Cincinnati. You're probably wondering, how does he do that? Well, it says, when drinking bird's head gets wet and he bobs back up, the water on his head starts to evaporate, which lowers the temperature of his glass head. The lower temperature causes some of the red vapor in his head to condense, which, which, which in turn creates a drop in, in pressure in his head. The base of drinking bird's body is warmer and at a higher pressure, so the, the liquid in the body pushes up toward the head. As the liquid rises, Drinking bird's head becomes top heavy and he tips over. Sometimes drinking bird is said to be a perpetual motion machine because his bobbing can go on for hours, but eventually friction will cause, cause drinking bird to slow down and stop. Drinking bird can more accurately be described as a heat engine because it is the heating and cooling caused by conden condensation and evaporation that keep drinking bird going on and on. Cool. So, so drinking bird is fun. We've done him before and he really, really does go for hours and hours, doesn't he? Yep, so almost perpetual motion, but not quite, because eventually friction will win out. That's a law of physics. Good evening, everybody. We've had a beautiful day. Life is good. You can't ask for anything better than family tonight. So, Siobhan made... Lentil tacos. Tacos are one of our favorite family meals, especially when you give it a little chipotle Tabasco sauce. Thank you very much. And Valentina, which Camden always loves. And we call this Bennett sauce because it's his favorite. Oh, so you want to tell us what you have in these, in this? So this is, um, this is taco meat made with no meat. It's got lentils and cashews and I actually use the sauce that's made by Frontera Grill. Frontera, yeah, it's called something like that. You can get it at the grocery store and it's specifically for tacos. There's no meat in it? But there's no meat in it. Yeah, it'll be good. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All of a sudden Camden realized there's no meat in it. Mommy, so we can't have meat. There's meat in it. And of course, we enjoy our family meals with a vinyl of some sort. This is one of our favorite things to do. And tonight's uh, background music to the Walker family meal is brought to you by Camden. You want to introduce this record? What is this? The Beatles, Abbey Road. That's right. What's your favorite song on this record? Okay. Here comes the sun. Oh yes. We love it. Who's Turn Abbey Road on? <laughs> yeah! So this is um, our little record station, our vinyl station. What we've got going on here. Ready? Happy birthday, Nani! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! You know, I couldn't imagine doing a journey like this without my family. I'm 
so grateful to have Taco Tuesday with my family. I wanna go up here. We're gonna say goodnight to Nani and Duda, and we're gonna goodnight say to Toby. goodnight to everybody. Everybody, listen. It says, Lord, you have seen what is in my heart. You know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know when I'm thinking, even though you are far away. You know when I go out to work and when I come back home. That's the way I. You know exactly That's how I live. I. Lord, even before I speak a word, you know all about me. We have to have the light so we can see the Bible, honey. You are all about me. You are behind me, in front of me. You hold me in your power. I'm amazed at how well you know me. It's more than I can understand. How can I get away from your spirit, and where could I go to escape from you? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I lie down in the deepest parts of the earth, you are also there. Suppose I were to rise with the sun in the east and then cross over to the west where it sinks into the ocean. Your hand would always be there to guide me. And your right hand would still be close to me. Suppose I were to say, I'm sure the darkness will hide me. And the light around me will become as dark as night. Even that darkness would not be dark to you. The night would shine like the day because darkness is light to you. You created the deepest parts of my being and you put me together inside my mother's womb. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful, and I know that very well. None of my bones was hidden from you when you made me inside my mother's body. That place was as dark as the deepest parts of the earth. When you were putting me together there, your eyes saw my body even before it was formed. You planned how many days I would live. You wrote down the number of them in your book before I had lived though even through even one of them. God, your thoughts about me are priceless. No one can possibly add them all up. If I would count them, they would be more than the grains of the sand. If I were to fall asleep counting and then wake, wake up, you would still be there with me. God, see what is in my heart and know what is there and put me to the test. Know what I'm thinking. See if there's anything in my life you don't like help me live in the way that is always right. Psalm 139. It was a summer night, oh yes, it was, it was. Mm -hmm. It was a summer night, oh yes, it was, it was. Mm -hmm. When my dad got stopped.
stars.